So I'm getting ready to do the Zodiac sign Sagittarius. Now this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. So let's see what do we have for Sagittarius. So they have courage. So you're definitely in the energy of um, having strength or you could be viewed as someone that is very strong. You've overcame something. You're someone that is stronger than, stronger than whatever fear another person could have tried to place you um, in. Whatever doubt another person could have wanted you to feel, you know, about yourself. It's like you are in the energy of light and you remain in that energy. You're someone that trusts in God and this is how you're able to stand so tall and so strong in the energy that you're in. Yeah, it's like the more and more that the more and more that you grow, the more and more that you grow, the more and more wiser you become through any challenge that has um, been thrown at you that you've overcome. Yeah. I'm also getting that with this courage card. You could be. Um, somebody that have ended something out like you're a totally different person you could be in a whole nother cycle after ending the cycle out like a karmic cycle and you've came out of this situation very strong you're realizing whatever happened these were definitely challenges that um were meant to build you up they were meant to make you who you are you have the Knight of Pentacles, and then you have the Three of Pentacles. So whoever this Knight of Pentacles is, this is someone that um, they're wanting to take some type of action or some type of approach towards a partnership, or this could be to collaborate or team up with you, and they've been moving very, very slow. This person could be tying up loose ends or they're taking care of some type of responsibility. But this person has been being very patient. You have the Six of Pentacles. Now, this could be someone who wants to give you something. They feel like if you and them team up together, um, whatever success that you're having or Whatever you're doing, it will be able, they will be able to come towards you and build success with you. Like something will be equal give and take. Something will be balanced, fair. You have the Page of Cups and the Six of Swords. So this could be someone that's just, you know, behind the scenes, secretly admiring you. They see that you've moved forward from some type of problem and um, you've went through a transition. You have the five of pentacles. You have the knight of wands. And then the ace of swords. This is somebody that feel like you're moving on or moving forward and they feel left out. Now, this could be someone who just sat back and they had secretly admired, admired you. You could be this person's secret crush with the Page of Swords and they want to partner up with you. But this could be someone who just did not know how to say that they wanted to partner up with you or do something with you because of these emotions that they're trying to hide. But since you've moved forward, that person feel lost. They feel left out in the cold. They feel like now is a good time for them to come towards you and um, speak their mind. 
you have the two of pentacles and then the two of wands this person waited because they were trying to balance something out now they could have been juggling some type of situation or they were trying to find some type of balance in their life as i say somebody was um possibly tying up loose ends taking care of some type of responsibilities and this was slowing this person down now they could have been going back and forth with another person or something like that and this was somebody could have been arguing with this person if they knew that this person wanted to come towards you to keep that person at bay like keep them at a two of wands stalemate so they wouldn't come towards you you have the Ten of Swords. This is definitely somebody that betrayed this person. This was some. It's like they ended something out with that person. Now, this could be somebody that you ended something out with. Yeah. So, whoever you've ended something out with. Because you ended a cycle out. And this person was trying to cause some type of ending for you or they were trying to prevent something from ending and they didn't know it had already ended. This was an um, inevitable end, something that was supposed to happen and they were trying to hold it up. Now, if this is someone that you didn't end something out with, somebody that they were attached to, they were kind of going back and forth with that person and this person was someone that was trying to prolong an ending. They know they know something was ending for the better, but they wanted to make it, you know, for the worse. They wanted to stop it from ending. You have the four of swords. You have the six of wands and then you have justice. So, yeah, they needed to ice after this ended out. That person was trying to get them to go back and forth with them. But they realized that they needed to isolate, like spend a lot of time in this four of swords energy, resting, recovering, getting enlightened and just um, renewing their self. It's like somebody needed to gain um, a peace of mind. Because they were dealing with somebody that was just too overwhelming with the two of pentacles being here. It was, you know, somebody that was keeping that person unsure, uncertain. You have the lovers. So yeah, whatever this justice in the six of wands, this person have found out. Um, some type of truth and clarity. Now, this could be a spiritual connection that they have with you. And they found this out. Now that they know this, they feel like you've moved on or you're moving forward in life and you're leaving them out in the cold. You have the five of wands. And then you have the three of wands. Yeah. It's like somebody made a decision to try to, you know, have that person in this two of pentacles energy, two of wands energy because they were jealous. They needed to learn that this person was a rival. So it's like they found out this person was a rival and they also found out they have a um, spiritual connection with you. Something that they were blinded to. Something that they did not know. You have the Queen of Pentacles. And you have the five of swords. Yeah, this is somebody that's definitely envious and jealous because of who you are as a person. You can be someone that's very stable, very grounded, very mature, um, very focused on building abundance for yourself. Making sure that you're secure. You're someone that's definitely intelligent. You're smart. You do things in a practical way. 
Now, you're someone that doesn't have like a bad spending um, habit. Like, you know how to invest your money properly, save different things like that. And another person was determined to try to sabotage you or win at all costs. To keep that person blinded from the truth. You have the page of pentacles. Yeah, this person does not like the fact that you're focused. It's like they see you in this energy of courage, strength, standing in your own power, being focused on some type of goal. This could be a business that you were focusing on as well. Your ambition has this person envious and jealous. The energy that you're in, someone that's very honest, very kind. You could be someone that is very loyal as well. They were intimidated. It's like you are someone that um, your light irritated this person's demons. You have the Empress. Then you have the King of Cups. And you have the page of wands popping out in the reverse. Just like you have that person. <laughs> this is some serious. Whoever this king of cups is, this is a totally different person. Now, with it, with it popping out with the empress, this could definitely be someone that you have a child with. Like a child's mother or a child's father. Somebody that you were not communicating with. This person is someone that was um, trying to cr create some type of distractions for you as well. So somebody that you were attached to, you ended something out with, they tried to create distractions for you. Then you have this five of swords energy, somebody you don't even know. They were behind the scenes um, envious and jealous because of who you are as a person. And they wanted this person to stay blinded to the fact that there was a spiritual connection between you and them. You and the person that have been um, secretly admiring you. Now that everything has ended out, they feel left behind. Like they feel like you've gotten away and they're, they're trying to come in quick Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords to speak their mind, to speak some type of truth and clarity to you. You have the High Priestess, and then you have the Nine of Cups. Then you have the Wheel of Fortune. like this person whoever the secret admirer is that person is someone that is um that person they ended up getting depressed and maybe they were trying to hide this with the high priestess being here Yeah, once they ended something out and realized they were betrayed, they they didn't they still didn't communicate with you or say something to you because they were hiding their emotions. So this is someone that definitely still needed to get their emotions balanced out. Because they were very, you know, Page of Cups is someone that is, you know, in a childlike energy and they don't know how to express their emotions. They don't let their emotions get in the way. So they needed to heal from something. They just kept quiet about how they felt. But they ended up finding out, hey, this is the person that was chosen for me. This person is someone that I have a spiritual connection with. There's a reason why I have these emotions for this person. And that, you know, they view you as wish fulfillment. 
this person could also feel like they stayed, they waited for too long and now they, they're trying to hurry up. They feel like they're running out of time. They don't want to be left behind. They have retreat from the outside world. Yeah, this is someone who definitely needed to um, disconnect from the outer world. In order to be able to get their self grounded, this person definitely needed to heal. Because they went through something that they did not expect was going to end out. It's like they were just in this two of swords energy for a long time. And it was keeping them just stalling. So now, now they're no longer in that energy. It's like they're in the energy of the Knight of Wands instead of the Knight of Pentacles. And they're coming in to speak some type of truth to you or speak their mind. Yeah, somebody is, is making decisions off of their intuition now. 